What's up, everybody? It's Legal Tender. I'm not in the building. I'm not in the vault. I am filming. I got some new notes to make a new episode. All right. I am filming on location. And this is where we're at. That there is the national flag of Australia. I am currently in Sydney, Australia on holiday with the wife, i.e. the missus. And I can't wait to show you what I got and to also have you along with me on this journey. Now, um, as some of y'all may know, I have recently retired from the military and I finally am able to take my retirement vacation and we decided to come to Australia. So, that's what we got. And, let's go. All right, so seeing how this isn't the normal setup of the vault, it's gonna be kinda rudimentary of how I negotiate this episode. Um, First off though, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the love, thank you for the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're a fan of Newsmatics, if you're a fan of paper currency, if you're just getting into the hobby of Newsmatics, stay rocking with me, stay rocking with the channel. Every Tuesday is Legal Tender Tuesday. And I will be making a new episode speaking about something new, different, or interesting within the realm of new mat within the realm of Newsmatics. Um, questions, comments, input, put it down in the comments section. I respond back to everything immediately. If I say something throughout the video, that is it 100 percent accurate. Let me know via the comments and the intro is all over the place, but let's get into it. All right, so because of this, I had to have that. And this is what we got. <clears throat> All right, so um, I really didn't know what to expect in regards to the currency exchange. So me and my wife went to the bank and we took out some notes. And if you see up here, that is the... <clears throat> excuse me that is the monetary identifier uh, abbreviation I would say AUD is I would say Australian dollars and this is the denominations that we pulled out right there so we pulled out if I can see it all right so for a five dollar bill we pulled out eight for ten we got nine for twenty we got nine um, bills and for 50 we got eight bills as well so this is the denomination that we took out and this is the quantity of the of the denomination that we pulled out and we are working with 710 Australian dollars <clears throat> now we've been here for about uh, two days and we are going to indulge on some more ventures so I done spent some of the money thus far and I got this change right here. Now this will be like a, a small little episode and I do uh, a more in-depth uh, video in the future. But we have a 20 cent piece which is right here. And we have a 50 cent piece, 50 and 20. So we got 90 cents in total. <clears throat> That's what we got. So we have some coinage. Now, let's get to the paper currency. And this is what we got. Hold on one second. Let's see how I could do this. As I pull out this currency, I see what collecting on the cheap be going through because without a stand, it's kind of a task. But there we go. One second, let me get everything in order. Hold on. Well, you know what? Let's go and get it all together like this.
immediately. This color, this money is extremely colorful. There's something else that really stands out about it is that the overall feel, the texture of it, it um, security features is crazy. Like you can look right through the currency, the design of the notes, the the images on the notes, just the, the feel of it too. It feels, it don't even feel like plastic. I don't even know if there's polymer. This is a certain type of polymer, but it just feels, this Australian currency feels so surreal, but it's a thing. And let me see, we got some fives. Like I said, we got fives. There. Got some tens right there. We got some twenties. And we got some fifties. So, that is what we got. Um, like I said, this will be, this is only a brief video. Pretty much just, just an intro. I want to bring you along to let you know that, um, I am continuing my foreign currency series, but I wish I could be a little bit more organized in doing so, but uh, I can show you each bill individually. Now on this five, you have an image of the late Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse, I would say. As you can just, you can see all the security features. The watermarks, the, the, the transparency. Other note, got five on there. I will say that that is the obverse. Secretary of Treasury. <clears throat> and the reverse. And the reason I'm showing the obverse and the reverse is because on different denominations, you have individuals on the obverse and the reverse. And like I said, this is just a brief introduction of the um of the notes and the currency and I will do a more thorough uh breakdown at a later time in a future episode. I don't know who that guy is. You gotta be somebody important though. And he is on the obverse of the 10. I check this out on the reverse. We have a a woman. Gotta be somebody important too. <clears throat> Some that I, I noticed too, if you look up here, we got those two divots. And I'm pretty sure this is for this is a a vision impaired um security feature. Cause it's almost as if like it's it's a, it's braille. It's braille. It is a braille feature that is on Australian currency, and I would venture to say it is to assist um the visually impaired. And something else too to speak about the size of each note. I touched that part in a second. Now you already see the size discrepancy between the five and the ten. And the five has one of those braille features as well, but it only has one. Interesting. Alright, so those are the tens. Moving on to the twenties. Now that I know to look for the braille feature, I see three on the twenty. So on our op verse, I would say this is a woman. And you see those three divots up there. The three braille features. I'ma just call it. First time I actually held an Australian note in my hand. So all this is extremely brand new to me. So that's the image on the obverse. On the reverse, it is a feature. It is an image of a male. Interesting.
And again, we see the size of the notes get a little bit longer in width with each one. And that is the 20. Now moving on to the 50. Uh, I don't see any braille features on the 50. I don't think they have them. On the outverse. On the reverse. Now, I don't see no braille features on this one right here. Now, I done lined them up to the left side as close as possible. And as we see that they get a little wider in regards to length, the higher the denomination. So... Yeah, I will be doing a more thorough breakdown of each individual note in the future. So stay tuned for future episodes. And that's where we're at. We are abroad. Going back to this view. And this is Darling Harbor. Super excited to be here. Beautiful country. Uh, Sydney Harbor is over in that direction. I'm gonna say on the other side of this building right here. So me and my wife will be checking that out later on today. All right. That's all we got for this one. Until next time, keep it legal. Keep it tender. Talk to you soon.